welcome. Now, the contentious week between the world's two biggest brewers, AB InBev and SAB Miller, who between them control half of the industry's profit pool, continues. AB InBev has raised its proposed takeover bid for SAB Miller to $103.6 billion, proposing that majority of shareholders be offered £43.50 a share in cash. Now, SAB Miller's two biggest investors, Altria Group and Bevco, will receive about £30. Pounds and 88 cents a share in cash and stock. However, SAB Miller wants AB InBev to pay closer to 45 pounds a share. Now, the company company has already rejected three previous proposals and has not yet responded to the improved proposal. Now back to that contentious week between the world's two biggest uh, brewers, AB InBev and of course SAB Miller. We're joined now by Chitra uh, Nobat. She's live from New York to talk about uh, this story. Ch Chitra, great to have you on the show. Now, first and foremost, you have to wonder, Chitra, after all the back and forth between these two uh, companies in the past week, is a 3% increase enough to get SAB Miller to the table? And what really is holding back SAB Miller? SAB Miller will make a move at least uh, to extend the October 14th deadline. That's what analysts like City say. The key decision makers here are the top 10 shareholders, especially the Santo Domingo family of Colombia. They own about 14% and have rejected AB InBev's offer so far because they felt the bids were too low. Analysts say their influence on the SAB Miller's board is key here to negotiations, and the worst case could be that AB InBev would go hostile or pull out. Now, Chitra, if this M&A does uh, not move forward, we're talking over 30% of the global volume. What are the re regulatory hurdles uh, that uh, it would face? As, I mean, has it passed antitrust scrutiny? That's exactly going to be the big issue, right? La potential lack of competition. AB InBev, they sell about 20% of the world's beer. SAB Miller, 10%. So a combined group would gain about half of the world's beer profits, so and that's according to analyst reports. In the U.S., a combined company would have a significant share of the beer market. So divestments in the U.S. may be inevitable. Regulators like the U.S. Department of Justice, they'll be looking at arrangements governing sales, bottling, pricing, operations. So there are big regulatory hurdles here. Now, Chitra, according to AB InBev, it says SAB Miller's African beer markets are really its main interest but analysts say actually the company is not as stable of course this after sales are not what they used to be in its two biggest markets that's the u.s and brazil how much does this company really need need this deal to go through The company is after growth and views this deal as one of the best ways to achieve that. Beer, after all, at the end of the day, is a commoditized industry. Margins are under pressure. So AB InBev is looking for three things very quickly. One, revenue growth. Two, market share in regions that isn't strong, like Africa. And three, volume, because at the end of the day, it boils down to being able to sell the most number of beers all around the world for revenue diversification. Mm. Now, Chitra, on SAB Miller's side, there's some speculation about a possible tie-up between SAB Miller and liquor giant Diageo. What are your thoughts? Or what have you heard about this? All these companies are looking for ways to increase revenue and market share, and acquisitions are a targeted way to do that. Diageo is no stranger to merger talks. Over the summer, there was a speculation that the Brazilian private equity firm 3G, who also owns a stake in Kraft Heinz, was looking to make an offer. Diageo, they're in spirits, beer and wine. SAB Miller is in beer and soft drinks. So some experts say this a merger here is not likely, as spirits are very different than beer. There wouldn't be quick efficiencies and would mean SAB Miller is significantly changing its strategy, which is unlikely. Mm, well, thanks so much, Chitra, for those uh, insights. Of course, she's joining us from Europe.